welcome, buongiorno, benvenuti to the italiancookingclass.com. Thank you for watching. Giuseppe here. Today I'm just going to prepare a, a beautiful summer salad um, and it's called Insalata Capricciosa. I named it that's that name. Um, Capriccio is a weem. And how this recipe came about was I was just sitting there, relaxed, closing my eyes in the restaurant one day. And I just thought, what can life bring to me as a new creation in my menu? And I just sat there, it was a summer's afternoon, of course, and all of a sudden these colours came up, and it's going to seem odd, oh, they're nearly the Italian flag, you've got the green, the red and the white. However, that wasn't the case, but what did come up was the colours in conjunction with the flavours, and then came the vegetable or the ingredient that was that flavour. And all of a sudden I saw green bitter and came up rocket, then a sweet red with the capsicum, then a dark came up just to break up the colours and the texture of a vegetable that was sweet but a little bit bitter which came to be eggplant. And then I thought what would, just feeling it, letting it rise to me, I thought what again can, just to top it off, what can God bring through to me? And pow, out came this white, beautiful colour contrast but the flavour was a nice creamy texture that was going to actually permeate through all of the ingredients, especially when I squeezed lemon juice on it, and that was cheese. But not only cheese, but it's goat's cheese. Goat's cheese is very creamy, very nutritional, and also it is, has that little bit of tartness to it. And then to top it off, some olive oil and some lemon juice just to bring all the flavours out of the individual ingredients and combines it all together. And I'll just show you the ingredients down here. Obviously we have some rocket there. Roasted capsicum, I've shown you before the video of roasting some capsicum. Some goat's cheese. Eggplants, which I've shown you also how we prepare eggplants for these different types of recipes. Olive oil, salt, and obviously that lemon to squeeze right through. Now what we're going to do firstly is just simply slither the eggplants, or break them up. Now Bertie likes it in the background too, he loves the thought of what we're doing here because he loves the green. We're just going to slither these, or break them up, you can slither them on a chopping board with a knife or what have you, but I like to connect with the food far more with my fingers because we do have an interactive energy with everything on the face of the surface, especially food. Now the good thing about with food is that it picks up the energy much faster because there are no counteracting energies or conditioning energies that the food has and what we have is conditioning beliefs and energies that limit us or condition us in ways but food picks up energy straight away that's why I always say give it all the love get the intention to actually move your energy through and into the food because we are all of the same source now we're going to do the capsicums exactly the same thing we're just going to slither, pull those apart. Again, you can slither them as thick or as thin as you like. Just break them up. Pass them through there like that and just put them in and around. Now we'll add the goat cheese to that. Again, folks, you can add as much or as little of any of these ingredients as you like. You know, I always say it's just entirely your choice, your decision, and it's always perfect because you're allowed. You do whatever you like with food, anything you like, whatever you want to add, take away, whatever you like, it really is up to you. So the recipes are only guidelines and the actual techniques and the little things are certainly more the important factors that actually help to create the final dish. Add a little bit of salt to that over the top. Salt's always good to add first because it hits everything and it bounces down in to the bottom of the actual salad. Then we'll hit it with the olive oil, because that helps to draw the salt down to the bottom as well if it's sitting at the top. And then the acid, which is the lemon, because the oil is already there coating, and so the lemon doesn't burn the leaves and wilt it immediately. Now for the taste test. I know how good it's gonna taste, that's why I can't wait for the taste test. This was such a hit in the restaurant People used to order it that much and we run out of ingredients because the flavours are so great and it was just a relaxed, emotionless, thoughtless effort that just came through to me. 
from the higher powers above and this was just a drop dead gorgeous recipe. The customers loved it. Um, yeah, one third water. The eggplant, the nutty flavour of the eggplants, the sweetness of the capsicum, the creaminess of the ghost cheese and then the bitter salad coming through. It is stupendous. You have to try this. Get your friends around, share it with some other beautiful dishes that you may create. Let it all flow. Give it the love folks. Share the video with your friends. Follow us on Facebook. This is Insalada Capicciosa with the Italian Cooking Class.com. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, buon appetito.